Hey everyone, so you know there's a growing trend for everybody to have, you know, very interesting and unique animals for pets these days. Well, I figured it's about time I confess, I have pet scorpions. Yes, that's right, scorpions. And no, the stingers are not removed from them. They're highly dangerous if handled inappropriately, and uh, much responsibility and respect is required. <laughs> Folks, come on, check out my pet scorpions. Here they are on the table. In fact, they're Zestava. M84 pet scorpions, six of them in total. Here on the end we have a 2014 Zestava M84 scorpion made in Serbia. This one is deactivated, the rest are active though. Here's a 2012, same thing, made in Serbia. For some reason the manufacturer decided to grind out the word scorpion. Serial number is still there obviously. Zestava arms, made in Serbia. Here in Canada, these are a semi-automatic rifle, restricted class, due to barrel length. Here's another 2012. Got some nice um, white in the engraving to show off the letters better. Check that out, M84 Scorpion, 7.65 millimeter or 30, 32 ACP. Here we have something special. These are M84A scorpions made in Yugoslavia. Okay, in fact, these ones were made in the year 1988. All right, we have three of them. This one's serial, serial number 475, 477, 478. So yes, these are consecutive serial numbers. We're missing one in the center here, but someday we'll find her and bring her home. We'll have a consecutive set of four. Wow, really neat. All right, let's get to shooting one of these. Again, 32 ACP. This is a Stava M84 Scorpion. Let's see what we can do. Wow. Bolt, just hold back on the last round. Magazine comes out. What a beautiful little rifle all around, folks. <laughs> wow. Do a little bit of a reload here. Yeah, I guess the uh, I guess these firearms were first invented and made by the Czechs in the 60s. They usually go by the uh, by the by the name Czech VZ61. Um, and these are licensed uh, copies made in either Serbia or Yugoslavia. Really neat rifle all around. Again, they are a restricted class rifle here in Canada, not a handgun. So at this time, they're still transferable to other individuals. And being that it's a little compact rifle, yeah, you can fire it like a handgun too. The brass flies straight up, comes down on your head if you're not careful. I guess that's half the fun with these things though. I'm going to show you a little rapid fire next. You can fire these things in semi-auto really, really proficiently. Nice triggers on them. All right, <clears throat> let's try a little rapid fire, folks. Here we go. These are just incredible pieces of Cold War classic history. And uh, yeah, being the Zestava M84s, these are essentially uh, military surplus from what I gather. They're not, you know, new manufacturer from what I can tell. Um, for instance, over here, we got a short magazine. If you have the short magazine in, they can fit in this magazine or in this uh, holster. Cut it. Okay, so I can go right in your belt. Pretty awesome, isn't it? All right. And we got a magazine pouch. Holds the long guys. 
Again, this one's fully deactivated. The story behind this particular one is the original owner um, didn't want to wait for the long transfer times that we have had here in Canada about six months ago. And instead of waiting for it to get transferred, he just decided to have it get deactivated. Okay. Well, it's a nice wall hanger now, but fully deactivated. Can't even move the slide. But as is, a non-firearm, legal for anyone to own, um, as is. Otherwise, the rest are all functioning. And yeah, those are Zostava M84s, folks. A really interesting little collection of them here we had a chance to look at today. Um, 32 ACP rounds, some of them come in 380. Wow, I'm really, uh, really thankful to have a look at these. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. God bless Canada.